the reason I uh, hooked on to Google as a brand um, is it's still how normal people find things on the internet. You know, my brother owns a bar. He doesn't spend much time on the computer. I mean, I, me and you, we spend nearly every waking hour, you know, either looking at a computer or looking at our iPhone and Twittering each other and stuff like that. Um, most normal people aren't like that. So when they do touch a computer, they go to Google to find where they're going. I mean, I, one of the most popular searches on Google is Yahoo, right? right. So people don't even realize you can type yahoo.com in this address bar. They, they just know this uh, search box over here. And that's all they know about the computer now. And, and so my first thing as a business is understand how that works. Understand how somebody puts something in there and gets a list of results. And understand how to potentially get your business found in that list of results. I found my doctor on Yelp, for instance, right? So I went pediatrician, San Mateo County. See who, who comes up on Google. And guess what? Uh, a doctor came up and she was number one on Yelp, right? She never had even visited Yelp and she had gotten five patients from Yelp. Most of it comes out of have you gotten pe people to link to you? You know, I'm the number three Robert in the world, right? I'm higher than Robert De Niro, Robert Kennedy, Robert Redford. How did that happen? Well, a lot of people are linking to me from their blogs or their websites, and my name Robert is on the title tag. So if you don't understand Google, and you're not searching for your name, for your competitor, for your genre, for your region, you know, Dr. San Mateo County, Dr you know, San Francisco, doctor, you know, and see what comes up, you're going to be at a huge disadvantage to businesses who understand that. Keep in mind that the internet is uh, amplification. So you might only have 15 people that come by your website every day. But if one of them writes for the New York Times <laughs> or one of them has a Twitter account with hundreds of thousands of people following them or, you know, then it gets amplified, right? It, it, your message and your business gets amplified. So that's why, you know, when I ran a camera store in the 1980s, I always cared about every customer. Why? Because you never knew when it was the guy from KGO Radio walking in your door, you know, or a guy who's going to buy a thousand cameras, you know. Um, and business people understand that, but the internet, is fast, right? You can see things go around in minutes and go around the world. And now you can use free tools to make a global brand and get people around the world to see who you are, that you're authoritative, that you're credible, that you're passionate, um, and that you can buy things right from the 